Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open a box from Iron Warrior. Today we are going to be using our new Black Scout Survival Awesome Pocket Knife, incredibly affordable at $60. A knife of similar quality from something like Benchmade would cost you in the $100 to $150 range. This thing is an incredible find. And easy to open. We have foam on the top and we have the unit in the center. Very simple packaging, love it. Get rid of that box. And this is the Iron Warrior 35 pound, 16 kilogram. First thing we always do is check the corners of the handles. There's a holdover from kettlebell training. If the corners of the handle suck, then you're gonna get eaten up. These are extremely, extremely well-finished handles. They have a lot more traction than something like a kettlebell. The corners are what are gonna eat up your hand or the bottom seam right under here. These bottom seams feel really good and so do these outer corners here. Compare it in size to the 55 pound one that we got a week or so ago. Very cool. So the diameters of the handles look similar, but they feel different. The 55 pound handle feels bigger around than the 35 pound handle, and that's fine. They have to shed weight somewhere overall. 35 is a little bit smaller all around. They just scaled the whole thing down. Made in the USA at the South Dakota Foundry. Very, very cool. I think the shape of these things is gonna lead them to be used in different ways other than say kettlebells or heavy clubs. One of the things that I'm most interested in is in the change of hand position because I wanna know what it's gonna to do to the upper body structure. When you use a club with two hands, your hands are in your center line or off to one side. This has a tendency to make club guys rounder, like a fighter. We round our backs very well and we wrap our body like it's fighting. Clubs are one of the best ways to train fighters for strength training throughout all of history. At least 5,000 years we know they've been doing that. When you use a kettlebell, in the bottoms up position for squats or for exercises like halos, similar thing. Elbows squeeze tight to the body, but your hands are still moved in. And once again, that creates a rounding of the upper back for most athletes because that allows them to drive their rib cage down and create core tension. With our Iron Warrior, our hands are substantially further apart. And that's gonna allow us to have our elbows tight and our hands pointing generally straight ahead. Let's try and flip this over real quick. Let's do this bottoms up. And the first thing I wanna see is how this is gonna work out for an exercise like halos. Oh, it's very interesting for the shoulders. It's gonna fire those muscles in an entirely different way. You can still resist extension in the back, drive your rib cage down, but your shoulders are gonna be in a very different position than they are with kettlebells or clubs. And the heavier weight, the 55 pound, is even wider, so your, ooh, man, that's interesting. Your elbows are tighter than your hands are now. Now your elbows are in and your hands are slightly outside. <sighs> feels like an entirely new exercise when you do it with this. We're most interested in this exercise because it is the basic exercise of all of humanity. It's the exercise that separates us from everything else. The shield cast, top hand, going past opposite ear is the basic movement of swinging hammers, of swinging axes, and of using weapons in every martial art through all of human history. The better we get at that, the more weights we use the difference, the length of the lever, and the different hand positions that we use with different weights allow us to get better and better at that. That is what the core is designed for. Weight in the front of your body 
your back contracts just to keep you stable. As the weight moves around your body, the muscles on the opposite side of your body fire. So every athlete of every sport of every athletic program should be doing versions of this exercise. The 360, 360 around the head, also called the shield cast in heavy club swinging because it's the basic movement of shield and parry in tons of martial arts. This is also the origin of things like hammer strikes because it's just like using hammers. So the more positions we train our hands with, the better overall we will get at that position and the more likely we are to be able to adapt it in a bunch of useful ways to sports or to work. Iron Warrior had sent me this first 55 pound one and because of this hand position, I thought that with a lighter weight, it would be extremely good for running training. This 35 is gonna be much, much, much more manageable in the beginning until we adapt our shoulder positions to this step up. But just holding it out, I can feel my shoulders firing in a different way in the back of my shoulder. That's what I'm looking for. Any version of a shield caster at 360 will cause you to stand all the way up, which is one of the main reasons that we wanna do it. People in the modern world are really rounded forward. When you do a shield cast, you're not gonna be able to do it unless you stand up to a neutral spine. So by practicing one version of it with either a kettlebell, a club, or an iron warrior, you will reinforce good standing posture, which is something that we see decay in the modern world as people sit down all the time, as they're on phones, and as they work at computers. So thank you very much to Iron Warrior for sending me out this new 35 pound war bell for testing. The shape of an object determines how it is used. We don't really know how we're gonna use this object yet, but we're gonna start with just a classic learning strategy. We're gonna work on it with deadlifts, then we're gonna work on it with swings. I think they'll swing because they have a shape very much like an ancient Greek halteres. So we know that they will work for swings. We just have to figure out how they're gonna work for swings and how to program for it. Then we're gonna do squats with it. Then we're gonna do cleans with it. Then we're gonna do deadlifts with it. Then we're gonna do a bunch of different versions of pressing with it. And then we're gonna work on it with Turkish get-ups. We're gonna work on it with those basic ideas and then we're gonna start putting it into rotation coordinates. I think the shape of the Iron Warrior will work very well for rotated deadlifts into halos into rotated deadlifts. The shape determines how the load is put on your body. The more objects you learn to swing or rotate with, the stronger you get at that basic human skill, which transfers to everything, athletic skill, work patterns, and general pain-free longevity and health.